A great stereo amplifier is the engine of any great hi-fi system. All you need to do is find the right one for your particular setup. And we hope this carefully curated list of the best performers we've tested can help. Whether you're building a home stereo from scratch or upgrading an existing amplifier, you'll find our tried and tested pick of the best stereo amps available in this video. There are many different types of amplifiers to choose from, and they all have their advantages and disadvantages. To make life simple, all the models in this video are integrated stereo amps, meaning they feature both components, a power amp to drive the speakers and a preamp to control the volume and your sources in one box. Convenience is, of course, great, but it's sound quality that sets the best stereo amplifiers apart from the crowd. Each of the integrated amps in this video has been thoroughly tested by our dedicated team of in-house experts, so you can expect spellbinding sonics whatever your decision. We've listed the top seven stereo amplifiers and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, validconsumer.com. Number seven. Fosi Audio BT-20A The first thing you'll notice about the Fosi Audio BT-20A is its small size compared to most amplifiers. Thanks to the Class D amplification this model uses, it's capable of pumping 100 watts per stereo channel despite its small form, so you don't need to worry about losing out on audio quality here. To match its minimal footprint, the BT-20A keeps things simple when it comes to controls. On the front of the unit, you get a power switch, a status LED, and three knobs to control treble, bass, and volume. When it comes to analog, you only get a simple RCA line input. Similarly, you get a stereo speaker output though. In spite of the size of the BT-20A, these outputs accept the bigger banana plugs. In addition to the wired connectivity, you also get Bluetooth 5.0 built in. On the Amazon page, Fosi Audio notes that you also won't have any pops or other audible noise when you establish a connection, which is nice to see in an amplifier in this price range. Given its minimalist design, it's not much of a surprise the BT-20D doesn't feature a subwoofer output. That said, if you'd like one, you can opt for the slightly bigger and pricier Fosi Audio BT-30D, which has a subwoofer output with its own volume control. Number 6. Yamaha RS202BL Bluetooth in-stereo amplifiers and receivers is an odd thing. Despite Bluetooth working perfectly well with headphones and speakers, it isn't always implemented well in receivers. Fortunately, the Yamaha RS202BL offers solid Bluetooth connectivity on top of an already well-rounded receiver. Similar to our high-end pick, Yamaha keeps prices reasonable for the Yamaha RS202BL by focusing on a core set of features. That means that while it does have Bluetooth, you don't get any of Yamaha's MusicCast wireless multi-room capabilities. This bare-bones approach applies to the inputs and outputs as well. You get three RCA inputs plus a line-in, line-out channel, but no wired digital inputs. The speaker connectors are also thin, plastic, and don't work with banana connectors. Fortunately, the minimalist feature set let Yamaha focus on the sound of this receiver, and it was worth it. Whether you're using a CD player, Bluetooth, or listening to the radio using the built-in receiver, it all sounds rich, full, and representative of whatever you may be listening to. Number 5. Sony STR-DH190 For many people looking to build out their audio setup, the jack-of-all-trades Sony STR-DH190 is a great option. Wired or wireless, this AV receiver has plenty of connectivity and it sounds great to boot. When it comes to wired inputs, the Sony STR-DH190 only offers analog inputs, but you will get five of them. Four inputs let you plug in CD players or streaming players, while a dedicated phono input lets you play your vinyl records. As for speakers, you get two pairs of outputs that let you switch between speakers or turn them all on at the same time. These outputs won't fit banana plugs, and they're not as sturdy as they should be, but that's one of the few downsides of this receiver. On the other hand, this receiver does feature wireless connectivity in the form of Bluetooth. This isn't quite as high fidelity as plugging in a high quality source, but it's hard to deny how convenient it can be. As this is a receiver and not an integrated amplifier, you do get built-in radio reception. This is limited to FM only, but as this is a music-focused receiver, 
and AM radio isn't great for music, this isn't a major loss. Finally, this receiver includes a remote. You'll actually need this as you can't access some functions without it. But it also lets you easily adjust volume and switch sources. Just be sure not to lose it. Number four, Amazon Echo Link Amp. Amazon's Echo Link line of products aims to give you a bridge between your traditional audio video equipment and Amazon's tried and true Alexa voice control, essentially turning your stereo system into a smart stereo receiver. The Echo Link Amp is a true standalone receiver, allowing you to power your passive speakers and drive a complete AV system. The I.O. is standard, giving you RCA, coaxial and digital optical ins and outs. You can easily feed your media into the receiver and pass it through to another device. There's also an Ethernet port for connecting to the internet, an essential step for bringing in the echo function. Finally, two speaker outputs, an L and an R, drive 60 watts of power to your passive bookshelf or stereo speakers and a subwoofer for including a sub in your system. Once you connect the device to the internet, you'll then use your smartphone and Alexa app to set up the device, after which the Echo Link acts like any other product on your network. You can control the amp with your voice or the Alexa app, and you can even set up the system for whole home audio, telling your system to play one thing in the bedroom and another in your living room entertainment setup. Though the price is a bit steep for the power handling, it might be worth it if you have an Alexa-based home. Number three, Denon PMA 600NE. If you love vinyl records, there's more than one reason to use the Denon PMA 600NE to complete your system. First, it has an excellent phono preamp included, meaning you don't need a separate one. Second, it incorporates an outstanding analog mode feature, which bypasses the amplifier's digital circuitry completely. The pure, warm sound that results is definitely worth the trouble. And unlike less expensive apps, like the Onkyo A9110, there's both Bluetooth and a solid DAC included here, so it can take digital sources without breaking a sweat. If you're looking for a stereo amp to handle a turntable and you like your audio to have some real weight to it, the PMA 600NE is the one to pick. However, this amp is made by Denon, so some design features are practically baked in. The remote is terrible, designed with what feels like no thought for the user, and while the PMA 600NE does have a couple of nice aesthetic touches like the old school font on the front end and the prominent knobs, they can't save the amp from looking absolutely dull. Being utilitarian is fine, but very little about the amp is appealing to the eye in any way. Good thing it sounds so sweet. Number 2. Marantz NR1200 AV Receiver Marantz is an audio brand that always provides solid performance but in recent years, they've tried to bring that classic AV handling into the modern market with the Denon Smart Connected HEOS app. The NR1200 stereo receiver comes with built-in HEOS capabilities. If you have other HEOS enabled Moran speakers, you can set up a whole home audio system similar to Sonos. This app also allows you to connect to all the requisite streaming services and it even unlocks voice control through Siri, Alexa and Google Assistant. The NR1200 is an intuitive, modern-feeling unit, but it isn't just the modern features at play that make this receiver worthwhile. The 75 watt of power handling for each channel means you can push a significant amount of power to your passive speaker setup. And because there are subwoofer and zone outputs, it will work as a surround sound system and just a stereo setup. There are optical ins and outs for digital audio support with HDMI inputs to use this unit as a fully controllable receiver for your whole entertainment system. And of course, if you want to use it as a traditional stereo amp, it'll do that well too. It isn't cheap, but the versatility might make it a good bet if your specific AV needs allow you to take advantage of all the options here. Number 1. Cambridge Audio CXA81 This is one of the best stereo amps you can buy for around $1,000. Its elegant, lunar grey chassis may bear a passing resemblance to its predecessor, the CX-A80, but like a Thanksgiving turkey, the CX-81 is stuffed with fresh internals. The signal path has been improved, there's a superior DAC and the USB port now supports high-res audio up to 32-bit, 384kHz and DSD-256 quality. You even get an Aptex HD Bluetooth receiver that delivers better than CD quality wireless playback. The result of these upgrades? Sound that is rich, 
confident, full-bodied and bursting with detail. Whether it's a hammering out of a frenetic mid-range melody or a staccato bass line, the CX81 has the agility and energy to handle whatever comes its way. Clarity is stunning given the very reasonable sticker price. Those sweet sonics plus the high feature count mean the CX81 sets a new benchmark at this price. Put simply, this is one awesome amp. So that wraps up our list of the best stereo amplifiers. Hope you found this video helpful. And if so, please leave a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate that. Let us know in the comments down below which stereo amplifier you're going to choose. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please give this video a like. And if you don't want to miss out on any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.